Today is an exciting day. Today is when I pick up my new long-termer for 2021. I haven't mentioned anything about having a long-term bike for 2021. I've been trying to organise stuff and I'm very fortunate that uh, BMW have come through with a bike for me to borrow for 2021. It's all very well borrowing these bikes for a week, two weeks, but you don't really get to know what the bike is like to live with. This year, I've got myself a BMW. It's not the R18. <laughs> it is something else. Let's take a look what it could be. But before we do that, chop D, roll the intro. My steed for 2021. <laughs> no, no, only joking. It's under one of these covers. I'm not even sure which cover it is under. Uh, this could be it. The spoke wheels, gold. Yeah, this is it, I think. This is the one. No, that's not it. Let's have a little peek. Oh, looks like carbon fibre wheels. Hello, <laughs> it's only an S1000 RR M Sport. Okay, I admit it, I'm a one jammy bugger. There it is, S1000 RR. It's even got, I was trying to sort out some uh, lever protectors because I'm going to take it on track, but it's only gone and got the M, the M lever protectors on. How nice are they? Oh, I oh. can't believe it. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. I'm so lucky. Is that the M chain as well? Is that chain the fancy chain with the DLC coated? No, I think that's just a standard chain. I don't remember being gold though. What they tend to do, BMW, they actually run the bikes in, so I haven't got to run it in or anything. It's already run in. Uh, 500 miles, 525 miles. I've got a lot of plans for this bike. Track days, trips, all sorts really exciting let me uh i'm so lucky i'm so lucky let's f let's fire her let's fire her up there's a train going by by the way that is not the right I'm like, a, I'm like a dog with two dicks. I've rushed out to come and pick this up and I've not, it's about, well, temperature. I'm in race mode. Hang on, how do we get out of race mode? It's been a while since I've uh, been on one of these. Let's go for dynamic. Uh, you can get outside air temperature on here somewhere, but I can't remember how you do it. But it's about 11 degrees. I've rushed out. <laughs> I forgot to bring an outer jacket with me. I've got my, uh, Minox Urban Pro shirt, which is triple double A rated, so you know it's safe, but it's all vented. So I'm going to be absolutely freezing. Huge, huge, huge thank you to BMW Motorrad UK for uh, for loaning this to me. First of all, incredible. I mean, I've been in discussions with them for since end of last year about borrowing something for this year from them as a long termer. And uh, they sort of said, you know, would I like to borrow an S1000 RR? And of course I said, yes, <laughs> who wouldn't? The main reason for borrowing this bike is, as you may remember, last year I had one of these for a couple of weeks and uh, we did a comparison review with Greg with the RSV4. I did a, you know, I did my own review and I was so impressed with this bike. You know, just how versatile it is, you know, it, it's, it's the ultimate track bike it's the ultimate road sports bike and i went as far as saying it's it's almost a sports tourer it's that practical this electronic suspension's got that much you know range of travel and adjustment you know i said you know this is really a sports tourer and that is what i'm going to try and prove <laughs> during this season 
I've got a lot of trips planned on this. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna get some soft luggage for it as well, some panniers for the back. I've got about five track days booked already as well. So, you know, I'm gonna make, a, it's gonna be a lot of content coming on this machine. I've got some bits to go on it. You know, I've got some crash protection to fit to it. With all these track days, I thought it would be sensible to uh, get some uh, crash protection, so GB Racing crash protection. So uh, it, it, oh, it's going to be a hell of a season ahead on this bike. Uh, I was trying to think which way I've got to go now. I need to set up my sat nav actually. Uh, it's not that way. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that burble. Blah, 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 blah. I do love a burble. So I'm incredibly lucky and it's not lost on me how fortunate I am to be lent this, you know. This, this motor vlogging has been incredible. You know, I've been doing this for seven years. Last year I managed to borrow the uh, KTM, the 690, which I of course bought at the end of the loan. And I've also had the GSX-R1000 I had was also a long-termer from Suzuki when I was doing a bit with, for performance bikes. So I've had long-termers before, but this is probably, you know, this is the most expensive, the most premium bike I've had on long-term tests. So I'm incredibly lucky, you know. I know you guys are all saying, Chops, you lucky sod. I know, I'm, I'm, it's not lost on me how fortunate I am to be in a position to have this for the season. And not only have it for the road, but have it for the track as well just incredible to be you know to have this thing and be able to take it on track because this is going to be incredible on track i know it's going to be you know it's good oh, I, I just can't wait to see how it performs on track actually my first track day is monday it's now tuesday my first track day is monday at bedford aerodrome bedford autodrome it's called isn't it not aerodrome trips i want to like i say get some panniers on the back of this <laughs> do some touring probably only around the UK because we can't go anywhere else at the moment but lots of UK based trips all sorts of stuff I've got loads of stuff loads of content planned for this machine I can't believe it's all come together I haven't mentioned it because I just didn't know if it's gonna happen or not but thankfully it has praise the Lord it's happened I've got myself a double RM Sport for the season <laughs> what a lucky lucky a couple of things I do want to change on the bike. I want to try and get the standard seat, the M Sport seat. <laughs> the M Sport seat is uh, really firm. Great for the track, but I want a standard one to put on for the road riding and just put the M Sport one on for the track days. <laughs> we <Wee> are. <laughs> 207 horsepower, I believe. 207 horsepower. Not sure how many torques. Enough with the shift cam. Shift cam engine, of course. Woo! Come on, mate. I'm getting wet here. What are you up to? Thank you. It's one of the beauties of having a long term as i said at the beginning you know you're borrowing a bike for a week two weeks you get to know it quite well but it's never your own you never bond with it you never love it like you do something which is your own i know this isn't my own but having it for six months means i can really get you know i get to clean i get to maintain it all the little things which you wouldn't necessarily notice or know about when you actually got it in your possession for a six months period, you know, you, you know all the little nuances of it, adjusting the chain, all the little maintenance jobs you have to do. So I'm really, really excited to see how I get on with this, you know, and of course the whole point of it is, the whole point of BMW lending this to me is so I can give you the full rundown of this machine. I can let you know everything about it, any issues I get, everything. So, uh, yeah, all right, love, I'll know where to go now, I'll turn it off go away so you know i will tell you everything so the full ownership experience you'll get to hear it by me having this bike and that is the point of these long termers 
so you so we get a real feel for the machine and i'll pass all that learning on to you guys i'll be your s 1000 rr guru for the next six months well hey oh straight over the roundabout now i've got to think how can i buy this after six months how can i convince mrs chops that i need another motorcycle in the garage hmm. that could be a tough one or just don't tell her that's what i've done up to this point she doesn't know how many bikes i've got in the garage <laughs> she doesn't actually know i bought the ducati <laughs> which is already a bit she'd never know i bought the ducati because it's all in pieces she doesn't know i've bought the smcr <laughs> <laughs> she knows I bought the H2, she knows that's mine, but that's all she really knows. Yeah, that, that's the key, guys. If you ask them, they say no. Just do it. It's easier to beg forgiveness than it is seek permission, or whatever the saying is. I'm getting a little bit chilly now, I have to be honest. Outside air temperature, I know you can find it somewhere on here. Oh, it's windy, it's raining, it's 10 degrees, and I've got my summer riding gear on. I'm cold, I'm getting wet. But I've got an S1000 double R! Woohoo! We've done them. So, 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 so nice. Oh, my front brake is so good so much power there how have they made a bike which is the best track bike and the best road bike sports bike how is that possible oh, yeah. coming through s1000 double r coming through with the rear brake there it is the rear brake's in a bit of a funny position there we go traffic lights there we go get comfortable launch control where's the launch control There we go guys that's it really just to let you know what i've got my hands on for the rest of the season so lucky massive massive thank you to uh oh, slow down chops here's a 40. massive massive thank you to bmw motorrad uk oh this is brilliant really appreciated massive thanks to you guys for watching the channel you know i say it before but i don't take it for granted that you guys watch this you know my old rubbish people actually want to watch it so I'm uh, incredibly flattered, honoured, you know, it, um, and thankful for you guys watching. Massive, massive thank yous to my patrons and channel members. Massive thanks to you guys, that's really appreciated. And just everyone who watches this, because it enables me to have things like this and do things like this. It's absolutely brilliant, so massive thanks to everyone. I'll be back soon in the next videos to come. I'll probably be, I don't know, I've got some... Like I say, I've got some bits to put on this already, some crash protection, so I may do another little garage video just installing the crash protection and whatnot onto this bike, and then it will be the uh, the Bedford track day. Ah, oh, can't wait, it's gonna be good. Thanks for watching, guys, appreciate it. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Oh, I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>